know in a crime voice. You can get your motherfucking dusty ass out of here. I'm not going to play with dusty. you. And I don't care how you feel. It doesn't matter to me. This is my place. And you will not disrespect me. Period. Point blank. And you can do and think whatever you want. But get your ass out of here by the morning and take your butte lacrosse with your ass. I will buy me a car. Are you, you sure? Yes, I will. Because I will take the car. Yes, take it with you. Take it with you. I hope I'll that motherfucker break down on the I'll side. Sh of I'll ship it back to Paraguay. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. You are a loser just like your fucking daddy. And that's how my dad beat her ass. No, I'm not deleting shit. I'm not deleting shit. This is supposed to be the part of what you want. What do you mean? Like, the question is, because in the deal breakers, you could say, I don't want a disrespectful woman. This question is, what kind of woman are you looking for? So I guess the good qualities that you desire should be your answers. <sighs> Like I said, how she talked to the man, his respectful of his time. Please hit the gym. Please hit the gym. And the pH needs to be balanced as well. I've been all around the world, and I'm going to tell you, Afro-Latinas and Africans got y'all beat. Got us beat. And how, and how do they have us beat? On every front. Greetings and citations. Before I get to the meat, in the crux of this video um, in the link um, if you watch my past video called you know in response to sergeant Woody Pete um, watch that video um, right now I'm going to continue on to this conversation now this past week this past few days um I'm going to say is what we're witnessing is a train wreck, a slow moving train wreck. And I noticed this train wreck on a video I did with the lovely, a live stream, I should say, with the lovely Carolina Herms. Um, check her channel out by the way where where we were talking about how Austin Holloman was in you know one of the passport bros a well known part of the passport bros went to Brazil and have done something and said something that was very um, problematic uh, when he had a certain older lady a lady who's almost five years older than he was um, on a love seat and it was very awkward and very um, seemed to be very creepy you see the problem is Austin Holloman does not get it and he will not get the point on why there's such opposition and why there's such disdain for his behavior his actions and and so forth ever since the passport pro movement the geo maxi movement started over a decade ago or so well the modern day I should say since you know since the social social media you know made it into a crate black men in the geo maxing world aka passport bro world have made a great have a great made a great mistakes and sins along the way and it is being an embarrassment because they come on YouTube and say 
the American woman, the Western woman, and specifically the black woman are the most rudest, crudest people on the planet. Therefore, they 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 get on airplanes and go to certain locations around the world trying to vie for trying to claim that they're looking for a female company. Now Austin Holliman finds himself back in this back at square one. But you know who is at fault for outside of Austin Holliman, by the way, outside of his own mistake. You know the thing that would the only way that's preventing Austin Holliman from getting the point is you. See, here is the point that Mr. Holliman will never understand. Mr. Holliman never understand. If you saw, saw, see the video with him talking to uh, Ken, Kendra G. And if you see the other video, which was very tragic, when he was talking to his mother. Now, there are, well, there are three issues why he's the way he is. One is you. His supporters. By supporting Austin and you allow Austin from from not seeing you allow Austin Holloman not to see the the, the um the social and moral implications of his behavior and those that he claims that he represent. You do not go to a country outside of your own, you know, your own area and violate or disrespect rather, I'll use a better word, dis disrespect the culture. Austin Holloman and Floyd do look at the world through the lens of their own selfishness. Those two men, especially Austin, look at the world through their um, because of having this carnal minded about women and traveling and claim that he's looking for a traditional woman and looking for marriage while at the same time um having this cardinal desire having a cardinal minded which goes against the idea of being traditional in the first place he won't he won't grasp that until y'all stop supporting Austin Holloman And because he's still wrapped up in his ego and his pride, he does not see that that there's no accountability for his end. He's always looking for accountability when it comes to the women in Central America, Africa, the global South, Asia, what may have you. But yet he will never, y'all will never, he will never learn the consequences of the severity and the several severity um I say it in a better way. He'll never learn from the series of mistakes he have done over the last couple of months, if not years. And many of you your supporters, his supporters, is not is not allowing him to see the light. And no. This is not about being against getting a passport. This is not about preventing him from um, enjoying the 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 life that you know 
that I think young men should have is to travel and see the world for themselves and learn from it. But the day at the same time, sex and women is not should not be the only focus. You have to if you are looking for love from this woman, from any of these women, you have to one respect their culture. You got to respect their language. And when I'm saying respect the language, you have to be very mindful in learning about their language, learning about their cu the customs and and culture and what may have you. And that and that's and, and y'all not allowing him to do that because you know, I know y'all not allowing him Y'all not make him accountable is what I'm saying because y'all only look at women as sexual objects and then y'all view women, you know, the, the problem is y'all look at women as, as sexual toys and while at the same time you're playing with their minds. You're toying with their bodies and you're playing with their minds. That's a bad rep recipe for disaster. The second problem, the reason why he's failed to, is it's gonna be a strange one. It's gonna be a strange one why he will never get it. Some of you people who are these blue pill simps, I'm not red pill by the way, but some of you, so some of you people who like that fake DJ over there who like to attack young black men or black men who already have passed away um, that, that specific person the point is you cannot sit there and attack the passport bros or Austin Holman or Floyd for that matter without producing an alternative to their pain and suffering and no, am I defending Austin Holloman in this video? No, I'm not. Am I defending Floyd in this, uh, by, by extension? No, I'm not. Am I defending the passport bros? The answer is no. The point is, the point is y'all who claim to be anti-red pill, anti-manosphere, anti, uh, Y'all never produced the alternative other than hearing a bunch of bunch of divestors and a bunch of man haters to slam the trying to demoralize and with their misandry and with their own low self esteem and their uh, low. Um, Um, what's the word? I'm trying to find the word. What's the word? That's not self-esteem. Um, well, you probably get, you probably understand what I'm saying right now with their low self-esteem and their insecurity problems. There you go. Low with the insecurity, very insecure. That's why. That's that's also the reason why people like Austin Hallman will never get the point. The set, the third one is what y'all saw in the video. And that's a mainly that should be a cry for help. When his mother was on that camera, and I I hope I blurred out the, the image uh when she was appearing behind him. Um and there is a reason why because a little bit of a uh yeah. So you know this is a cry for help. This, this is what happens when you are when you are raised to be a sexual deviant because he had because he claims to one of his videos he had watched pornographic material since the age of six. So there is that and then then what what then what what we saw in that video that that I posted in in the front of this video and also w you know we as black men you know we, we got we got there is a mindset there's there's a culture 
within us that needs to change. All right. The over the, the hypersexuality of black men that needs to change. How we process uh uh how how we look at women. We look at women solely as for for sexual um conquest rather than looking at women as uh or viewing the humanity in the opposite sex and we need to start being honest about you know what really is our problem Austin will never get it because he thinks though vagina and sex is, is escapism but when we clearly see in the video um those two videos him come back to America and then he had to worry about you know what he's what he's dealing with um and no like I said I'm not defending Austin Holloman I think Austin Holloman is part of the problem see Austin Holloman needs to grow up he needs to grow up fast um the immature way he went on Kendra G G's channel and talk about black women in such a way while at the same time he's in a house being being going back to living in the house with one and it's time for us to start changing the culture Austin Holloman like uh, those who who preceded him offers nothing more than, than a message of wick, wickedness a message of of um, misogyny and a message of hopelessness um, th this is a very um, you know all, all I can say on it this is a train wreck um, and and I really don't find it entertaining to watch this train wreck going on but it's but it's very sad to see it I hope that what what we just saw with the mother and then you know him talking to his mother his mother chewing him out and then his appearance on Ken Kendra G um, I hope that um, it sheds a light of this train wreck and I hope it opens up a lot of people's eyes on what is really the problem Austin Holloman needs a psychologist he does not need to go on dates Floyd does not need to go on dates or go overseas for the passport he needs they need to get their mind right and their body right they need to get their mental house in order before they're trying to quote unquote look for love because see the thing is you know see the problem is with these two men especially Austin is that they are not their own friends they refuse to be their own friends Austin Holloman refused to be his own friend He's not a friend to himself. They thinking female. They they, they thinking getting a woman. A a, a woman is, is supposed to be adding on to, to, their life rather than seeking, um, seeking knowledge and wisdom, and seeking a uh, seeking. A place of peace he does not have inner peace some of these passport bros does not have inner peace within themselves and they're eating themselves up alive and it's sad to see what's going on so anyway um yes like share subscribe um yeah um you know he needs he needs to be his own friend he needs a psychologist. He does not need no dates. He does not be in the company of a woman. 
he needs to get himself checked out with a psychologist or mental health professional or something because from what I'm seeing um, what I'm seeing and I don't know if Hope, hope I, I hope I'm not the only one who's seeing this. I see a very dark. Um, I see him going to a dark place, uh, especially after we see what what we just saw the last few days. Y'all have a good one. In my next video, I might talk about some Simone Biles and and um, yeah, I'm talking about Simone Biles in my next video. I got a couple other things I want to mention too. Check those videos out later on. Big J out.